Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Washaka and today I have a video on my empties. I don't have everything because I'm in a household of three girls and one guy, so definitely not everything. But the items that I actually do remember from my bathroom to save for you, I certainly did. Um, not going to be a lot of makeup stuff because I really charge my uh, makeup collection and I don't go through it really fast because I don't wear everything every day. So I'm very liberal with makeup. I do today have on uh, my ColourPop eyeliner that I promised everyone that I would wear in a video. I'm wearing a Tarte Chubby Stick, a sample one that we got in our Ipsy bag. And I'm using just regular translucent powder that I got from Carol's Bakers. I'm Canadian. And I believe it's Carol Baker, yeah, Carol Baker um, translucent powder as well as some eyeshadow from MAC that I do not remember the name, but like I said, I'm not very high maintenance, and the reason being is because I tend to have hot flashes, hence the reason you'll see me glistening every now and then. <laughs> um, and because of that, I try to not use too much product. I, I'm sure certain you'll see me um, in some pics where I'm pretty glammed up, and that's when we're going out. But let's get back to these empties. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the um, hand soap that we use in our bathroom and it's gentle foaming sea island cotton from Bath and Body Works and this is one of the cleaner smelling um, items I love Bath and Body Works by the way so um, always have their products in stock this is like a dove or you know a suave or whatever I always have their products in stock but the thing that I love the most and I always make sure I stock up on is their hand soap and I'm very into the gentle foaming I find it lasts longer I'm um, having a three-year-old who's always in water for some reason and always wants to wash her hands. Um, I like something gentle and this does the job for me. So definitely love it. And sea cotton, sea island cotton smells so fresh and totally um, deodorizes the bathroom after when they're washing their hands. So it's a really good thing to have. The other item that we all use is our Lubriderm. Um, it's the Daily Lubriderm Daily Morph. This one is fragrance free. And it's um, just the daily moisturizer. This is for normal to dry skin. We use this as an everyday lotion anyways. Um, and everybody uses it. The reason you're seeing it's fragrance free is because I purchased it for my dad. He has very delicate skin um, when he was visiting. And he forgot to take it with him. So we finished it off. Not to mention my 7-year-old has spotty issues with her skin. Sometimes they react. Sometimes it doesn't. So I tend to use this as an everyday lotion to prevent her from having any reaction because most of the time I don't know what she's reacting from anyways. Then I used a facial scrub. This is Freeman's Beauty um, Avocado and Oatmeal Clay Mask and it deep cleanses and purifies pores. I believe it does. I do have like some larger pores so I tend to use products that are mattifying or things that would hide or close out my pores. This really helped minimize the pore um, visibility of the pores in my skin. This is supposed to be only two applications. I honestly I got four. I did it once a week on the Sundays and I got four applications out of this. So I'm pretty sure you, I could have gotten more. I started trying to like just get through it to finish it. And what I did with this is I actually put it in a little traveling container. I'll show you the size of traveling container in a second because my next item I'll show you. But I put it in a little traveling container. I just took it out, rubbed it all over my face evenly, let it sit for a bit, and then washed it off once it dried. Simple as that. And then I did my toner and my um, night cream because I did it at night. Okay. Love that product. We'll definitely purchase it. Two fifty at most. I, I'm pretty. It could have been ninety nine cents. This might have been a ninety nine cent one because there was one time I was picking them up if they were one ninety nine cents and one twenty nine. And I'm going through my collection. I did collect a few of them, and I'll talk about that later. The size that I of the container I put it in was like this size. So that's a pretty, pretty good size. This item is Ocean Salt from Lush. I like Lush, guys. I will be talking a lot about. But this here, this little baby, was a sample of Ocean Salt at Lush, and I did it wrong. I rubbed it on my skin like like this straight, and it like scratched me, and I thought, I hate this stuff. I love, like I was smelling myself, I said, I love the scent, but I hate this stuff. It's like hurting me. And then my girlfriend told me, Shayla was like, um, mm, you're supposed to use it circular, because we purchased another scrub on our cruise, and my sister said, this stuff hurts my skin, man. 
And Sheila said, well, did you rub it straight? Because that's not the way you do it. You're supposed to go in circular motion. So I did get another sample of Ocean Salt. I haven't used it yet. But I did use that, that scrub that she had. And you use it circular and it works better with respect to the scrub. So I'm going to give Ocean Salt another shot and I'll get a sample. But I did finish my sample. Love the smell. Apparently used it wrong. Hence my reaction to not liking it. Also, I got in my Ipsy bag two months ago, the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. And this said you have three applications. You have more than three applications because I used it for about a week or a week and a half. And I used it, this is what's my everyday scrub. This has Argan Stem Cell and Chlorella Growth Factors. I like this stuff. I'm actually gonna go out and buy it. So definitely something to consider. This is why I like the Ipsy bag because you get an opportunity to try things. So definitely take the opportunity to try this if you can. Last three items. The first two, these two I got together. This was a birthday gift from my friend Farah. Um, one of the gifts. She gave me a lot of beautiful gifts. This is one of the gifts. Um, it was a Lush because Farah gets me addicted to things and then she continues to keep pushing on me those things. She got me this um, soap, which was Sultana of Soaps from Lush. Love it. Love it. Love it. It's one of those things. It has lemon and bergamot. And bergamot comes across as though it's very, like, rose-scented. But it's not rose-scented. And then you're like, I don't like rosy. I'm not a floral kind of girl in general. And I was smelling it. I was like, it's floral, but why do I like it? Well, you like it because your brain is letting you know that there's something in there you like. I love citrus scents. So loved this in the end. And then Rose Argan Body Conditioner. This was really good as well. This is one of those in the shower um, lotions that you put on. So your skin is wet, you put it on, and just before you get out of the shower, you rinse it off, and then your skin is like glistening and lotion. You don't even have to do it. Lazy Woman's Cream, that's what I call it. Lazy Woman's Cream, and it works awesome. And final item, which is going to always probably be in stock in my house now, is the Refresher from Lush. If you watch my previous videos, you'll see how much I like this. This was in my favorites for last month. I believe the Sultana, Sultana, Sultana of Soaps was too. But this, love it, love it, love it. So these are the empties that I think are worthy of sharing. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, stay with my channel and continue this journey with me. I intend to enjoy life to its fullest and take on my new challenges. And I intend to share those with you. I had a wonderful time. I hope you have a great day and see you in the next video. Have a great night.